More recent phylogenomic analyses that have densely sampled both genomic datasets and morphology have consistently supported horseshoe crabs as nested inside arachnida, suggesting a complex history of terrestrialization. Morphological analyses including fossils tend to recover the tetrapulmonata, including the extinct group the haptopoda, but recover other ordinal relationships with low support. Trigonotarbids can be envisaged as spider-like arachnids, but without silk-producing spinnerets. They ranged in size from a few millimeters to a few centimeters in body length and had segmented abdomens, with the dorsal exoskeleton across the backs of the animal's abdomens, which were characteristically divided into three or five separate plates. Probably living as predators on other arthropods, some later trigonotarbid species were quite heavily armored and protected themselves with spines and tubercles. The original drawing which showed Maeocircus described a pitting on the underside of the slightly forwarded laminae, with a non-uniform concavity on the outer margins of them. The concavity is most well marked in the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th somites, with the opposite happening on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th somites. Chimerarachne is thought to be closely related to spiders, but outside any living spider clade. These animals resemble spiders in having two of their key's defining features, spinnerets for spinning silk and a modified male organ on the pedipalp for transferring sperm. At the same time, they retain a whip-like tail, rather like that of a whip scorpion and urananiids. It is not ancestral to spiders, being much younger than the oldest spiders which are known from the Carboniferous, but it appears to be a late survivor of an extinct group which was probably very close to the origins of spiders. It suggests that there used to be spider-like animals with tails which lived alongside true spiders for at least 200 million years. Europagi is an arachnid order comprising invertebrates commonly known as whip scorpions or vinegaroons. The last name refers to their ability when attacked to discharge an offensive, vinegar-smelling liquid, which contains acetic acid. Unlike the subchelate pedipalps of modern whip scorpions, the pedipalps of Gerolanura are spiked and nonchelate, suggesting that the modern trait evolved at a later point in time. Whip scorpions use only six legs for walking, with the first two legs serving as antennae-like sensory organs. All species also have very large scorpion-like pedipalps but there is an additional large spine on each palpal tibia. They have one pair of median eyes at the front of the cephalothorax and up till five pairs of lateral eyes on each side of the head, a pattern also found in scorpions. They are carnivorous, nocturnal hunters feeding mostly on other arthropods. They have no venom glands, but they have glands near the rear of their abdomen that can spray a combination of acetic acid and caprylic acid when they are bothered. Spiders are the largest order of arachnids and rank seventh in total species diversity among all orders of organisms. Phase are found worldwide on every continent except for Antarctica, and have become established in nearly every land habitat. 50356 spider species have been recorded by taxonomists. Anatomically, 
spiders differ from other arthropods in that the usual body segments are fused into two tagmata, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. The mygalomorphi are an infrorder with over 3,000 species. Many members are known as trapdoor spiders due to their creation of trapdoors over their burrows. The Sydney funnel web spider is known for its highly toxic venom, which can be particularly dangerous to humans. Its bite can cause severe symptoms and even be fatal if left untreated. It is known for its aggressive behavior when threatened. They can rear up on their hind legs and display their fangs as a warning display. They typically build silk-lined tubular burrow retreats with collapsed tunnels entrances from which irregular trip lines radiate over the ground. In some exceptions, which lack trip lines but may have trapdoors, the silk entrance tube may be split into two openings. The Mexican red-kneed tarantula is known for its striking appearance, with a dark-colored body and distinctive orange-red bands on its legs. It has a robust build and can reach a leg span of about 13 cm. They are generally docile and slow-moving, making them popular among tarantula enthusiasts. They are known to be relatively easy to handle compared to some other species. While not endangered, habitat loss and collection for the pet trade have put some pressure on wild populations. Brazilian salmon pink bird-eating tarantulas inhabit the forest floor, where they stay in hiding places such as leaf litter, inside logs or in burrows. They are ambush predators, lying in wait, striking prey as it comes close, and quickly injecting venom to subdue it. They do not spin webs. They will feed mainly on large insects and, occasionally, amphibians and small reptiles. Although they are called bird-eating spiders, there is very little evidence to suggest they actually catch and eat birds. Like all tarantulas, Goliath bird-eater have fangs large enough to break the skin of a human. They carry venom in their fangs and have been known to bite when threatened, but the venom is relatively harmless and its effects are comparable to those of a wasp's sting. Tarantulas generally bite humans only in self-defense, and these bites do not always result in envenomation. Also, when threatened they rub their abdomen with their hind legs and release hairs that are a severe irritant to the skin and mucous membranes. Found in northern South America, it is the largest spider in the world by mass and body length. Because of its size and opportunistic predatory behavior, this species commonly kills and consumes a variety of insects and small terrestrial vertebrates. In general, the webs of cellar spiders are loose and horizontal with many irregularities. These webs are often intertwined with webs of other skull spiders of the same population. They live peacefully unless resources are low at which point the spiders turn to cannibalism. The extent of communication is seen in times of mating. The primary form of communication for these spiders is through the use of touch and chemicals, specifically pheromones. They are carnivorous predators that feed on insects, other spiders, and other small invertebrates. Unlike many other spiders, who simply feed on prey that have gotten stuck in their webs, these spiders frequently venture out from their own webs to hunt other spiders resting in their respective webs and feed on them or their eggs. Giant golden orb weaver constructs large, intricate, golden-hued orb-shaped webs, which are known for their strength and durability. The silk of this species is exceptionally strong and is often considered to be among the strongest natural fibers known. As with many spider species, this spider exhibits sexual dimorphism, with females being significantly larger than males. This is common in orb weaver spiders, where females are responsible for web construction and reproduction, while males focus on mating. 
These spiders primarily feed on flying insects that get caught in their webs. It plays a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance by controlling insect populations. They are also indicators of the health of their ecosystems. Wasp spider builds a spiral orb web at dawn or dusk, commonly in long grass a little above ground level, taking approximately an hour. The zigzag-shaped web decoration, the stabilimentum, featured at the center of the orb is of uncertain function. It has been shown that webs containing stabilimenta catch fewer insects as they are less cryptic, yet these webs are less often damaged by birds flying through them. When a prey item is first caught in the web, it will quickly immobilize its prey by wrapping it in silk. The prey is then bitten and then injected with a paralyzing venom and a protein-dissolving enzyme. Unlike insects, spiders do not have antennae. In all except the most primitive group, the mesotheli, spiders have the most centralized nervous systems of all arthropods, as all their ganglia are fused into one mass in the cephalothorax. Unlike most arthropods, spiders have no extensor muscles in their limbs and instead extend them by hydraulic pressure. Orb webs are characterized by their circular shape, often with a hub in the center where the spider waits for prey. These webs are constructed using various types of silk, each serving a different purpose in the web structure and function. The silk used in orb webs is known for its strength and elasticity. It is produced from specialized glands in the spider's abdomen and is composed of proteins, primarily fibroin. The combination of these proteins gives the silk its unique properties, making it strong yet flexible. Many orb-weaving spiders regularly maintain their webs, repairing any damage and removing debris. Some spiders consume and recycle old silk, allowing them to conserve resources and energy while ensuring their webs remain effective for trapping prey. The body length of the female scorpion-tailed spider is around 16 mm with the male being much smaller at around 2 mm body color varies between individuals and may range from cream through brown to black, sometimes with a brightly colored yellow to red patch on the top of the abdomen. Only the females possess a tail and this increases in length with each molt. The prominent tail looks somewhat similar to that of a scorpion but has no sting and the spider is not considered to be dangerous to humans. The most notable characteristic of spiny-backed orb weaver is its crab-like shape, with a prominent, convex abdomen that resembles a crab's carapace. The abdomen is typically adorned with spines and prominent markings that vary in color, including white, yellow, and red. While they possess venom like most spiders, it is not known to pose a significant threat to humans, and their bites are generally considered to be harmless, causing only mild irritation in most cases. Ogre-faced spider is known for its elongated cephalothorax and large posterior median eyes, giving it a distinctive appearance. Its body is typically pale or light brown, aiding in camouflage. Unlike many other spiders, it does not spin a typical web to catch its prey. Instead, it constructs a small, elongated and rectangular web, which it holds between its front legs. This web is used as a net to catch flying insects. This spider is primarily nocturnal, relying on its exceptional night vision to detect and capture prey. It typically waits in a camouflaged position, holding its small web net between its front legs and swiftly lunging at passing insects. These spiders are generally shy and non-aggressive, preferring to avoid contact with humans and other large animals. It is known for its stealthy movements, which allow it to approach prey without making any noticeable vibrations or sounds, increasing its chances of successful hunting. Domestic house spider are active and agile hunters, relying on both their vision and movement speed as well as web mechanisms. Six out of eight of their eyes are sighted forward, 
allowing them to detect movement and focus in on prey items. Instead of following a continuous gait pattern, they usually move in short intervals, stopping several times before deciding where to head next. It is not a particularly aggressive species and will often retreat when confronted. As long as its web is undisturbed, the spider will usually retreat to the funnel tip and stop responding to any movement whatsoever. Ground spider is a nocturnal hunter, spending the day in a silken retreat. Mature females are found throughout the year, mature males only in spring and summer. All known spider species are predators, mostly preying on insects and on other spiders, although a few large species also take birds and lizards. It is estimated that the world's 25 million tons of spiders kill 400 to 800 million tons of prey per year. Also, females are known to eat males after reproduction, to avoid being eaten by the females, which are typically much larger, male spiders identify themselves to potential mates by a variety of complex courtship rituals. Males of most species survive a few mattings, limited mainly by their short lifespans. Unlike most spiders, the diving bell spider spends almost its entire life underwater. It creates an air bubble around its body that serves as a diving bell, allowing it to breathe and live submerged in water. It constructs a silken retreat attached to submerged vegetation, which serves as its underwater home. It replenishes the air in this retreat by periodically surfacing and capturing air bubbles on the surface. While underwater, it feeds on aquatic insects, small crustaceans and even small fish that get trapped in its submerged web. It is known for its agility and ability to catch prey in the water. They have specialized sensory adaptations that allow them to detect vibrations in the water, enabling them to sense the movements of prey and potential threats even in low visibility conditions. Despite its small size, common candy-striped spider is a formidable predator which can prey on insects many times its size. The female deposits its eggs in a white sack and after several days the sack gradually changes color to a blue-gray. This is secreted within a rolled-up leaf fastened with silk and the female guards it until the eggs hatch. Its web is usually a small assortment of tangled threads, found in the underside of a leaf. The edges of said leaf are usually pulled down slightly with the threads, creating a hide. Mainly nocturnal, the female redback lives in an untidy web in a warm sheltered location, commonly near or inside human residences. It preys on insects, spiders and small vertebrates that become ensnared in its web. It kills its prey by injecting a complex venom through its two fangs when it bites, before wrapping them in silk and sucking out the liquefied insides. Often, it first squirts its victim with what resembles superglue, from its spinnerets, immobilizing the prey by sticking the victim's limbs and appendages to its own body. The redback spider then trusses the victim with silk. The redback is one of the few spider species that can be seriously harmful to humans, and its liking for habitats in built structures has led it to being responsible for a large number of serious spider bites in Australia. Predominantly neurotoxic to vertebrates, the venom gives rise to the syndrome of latrodectism in humans, this starts with pain around the bite site, which typically becomes severe and progresses up the bitten limb and persists for over 24 hours. Brown recluse spiders have six eyes arranged in three pairs, which is a characteristic feature that distinguishes them from most other spiders. They possess a cytotoxic venom that can cause tissue necrosis, leading to a characteristic lesion known as a necrotic ulcer. While their bites can be serious, fatalities are extremely rare, and most healthy adults recover without severe complications. As their name suggests, they are reclusive and non-aggressive. They generally avoid human contact and only bite when threatened or provoked. Most bites occur when the spider is unintentionally pressed against the skin, 
such as when putting on clothing or shoes. This particular spitting spider features the presence of silk glands in its cephalothorax. Besides the silk glands in its abdomen, the spider also has silk glands connected with its venom glands. In this way the spider has the ability to make venomous silk. It is a very slow hunter as its long and tender legs may suggest. During night, when some insects are less active, Cytode starts its hunt. The spider sneaks very carefully towards its prey and, from about 10 millimeters, stops and carefully measures the distance to its prey with one front leg without disturbing it. Then it squeezes the back of its body together and spits two silk threads in a zigzag manner over the victim. The prey is immediately immobilized. Will spiders are up to 2 cm in size, with males and females the same size. The wheel spider does not make a web, it is a nocturnal, free-ranging hunter, coming out at night to prey on insects and other small invertebrates. Its bite is mildly venomous, but the spider is not known to be harmful to humans. Its principal line of defense against predation is to bury itself in a silk-lined burrow extending 50 cm deep. During the process of digging its burrow, the spider can shift up to 10 liters of sand, 80,000 times its body weight. It is during the initial stages of building a burrow that the spider is vulnerable to pompalid wasps, which sting and paralyze the spider, then lay eggs in its body. If the spider is unable to fight off a wasp, and if it is on a sloped dune, it will use its rolling speed of 1 meter per second to escape, up to 44 turns per second. Banana huntsman spiders do not build webs to catch prey but instead actively hunt for insects and other small animals. They use their speed and agility to chase down their prey, making them effective hunters. While huntsman spiders possess venom to subdue their prey, their venom is not considered to be harmful to humans. These spiders are found in various regions around the world, they have adapted to diverse environments and are known to thrive in both natural and human-altered landscapes. Brazilian Wandering Spider is a large spider. Its maximum body length is around 5 cm and its legs can span 15 cm in larger individuals. Its body is covered in thick brown hair. They are nocturnal, and actively hunt at night, killing by ambush rather than using a web, during the day, they are found hidden under logs or crevices. When threatened, it raises its first two pairs of legs as a warning. It also occurs in banana trees, foliage and urban regions, mainly inside residences. A 23-year-old market worker was bitten on his hand in Sao Paulo, Brazil, while moving a bunch of bananas. It was reported that the bite was extremely painful, accompanied by sweating and hair standing on end. Aside from causing intense pain, the venom of the spider can also cause priapism in humans. Erections resulting from the bite are uncomfortable, can last for many hours and can lead to impotence. Male nursery web spiders perform elaborate courtship rituals to avoid being mistaken for prey by the females. They offer gifts, such as prey wrapped in silk, to the female to appease her and successfully mate. Females exhibit a remarkable level of maternal care. They guard their egg sacs and, after the spiderlings hatch, carry them around in their jaws until they are ready to disperse. Unlike many other spiders, nursery web spiders do not build intricate webs for catching prey. Instead, the female constructs a nursery web to protect her egg sac and young spiderlings, often attaching it to grass or other vegetation. They play a crucial role in controlling insect populations in their habitats, contributing to the natural balance of the ecosystem by reducing the numbers of various pest species.
The raft spider typically hunts on the surface of the water with its front appendages outstretched and relies on aquatic vibrations to detect prey. Their diet consists largely of freshwater invertebrates such as water beetles and dragonfly larvae, but they occasionally feed on small vertebrates such as sticklebacks and small frogs. To avoid predation by birds, the raft spider can fully submerge itself in water and has been known to hide underwater for several minutes. It is also sexually cannibalistic, males will try to court the female and prevent her from attacking by signaling their presence using vibrations on the female dragline. However, it is one of the few species known to attempt to attack nearly all approaching males. This behavior is regarded as unusual among biologists as it can prevent both the male and the female from copulating successfully. Wolf spiders are robust and agile hunters with excellent eyesight. They live mostly in solitude, hunt alone, and usually do not spin webs. Two of the wolf spider's eight eyes are large and prominent, this distinguishes them from nursery web spiders, whose eyes are all of roughly equal size. Unlike the jumping spiders, which may exhibit curiosity about humans and may be content to wander around on one's hand, wolf spiders have a very strong tendency to flee at the approach of any large animal. They have quite good eyesight, so a human likely cannot approach them unseen, and capturing them is relatively difficult because they keep moving and can run very fast. When wolf spiders are cornered, they show no inclination to make threat displays, much less to advance on a human's hand with the intention of biting. Like all jumping spiders, bold jumping spiders have excellent stereoscopic vision that aids them in stalking prey and facilitates visual communication with potential mates during courting. They are solitary carnivores that use their highly specialized eyesight to actively hunt and stalk prey. They prey on a variety of insects and non-insect terrestrial arthropods. They are one of the most common spiders found in agricultural areas and have been studied to determine their impact on crop pest populations. Unlike most spiders, bold jumpers do not build webs to catch prey. Jumping spiders contained over 600 described genera and over 6,000 described species, making it the largest family of spiders at 13% of all species. They have some of the best vision among arthropods and use it in courtship, hunting, and navigation. Although they normally move unobtrusively and fairly slowly, most species are capable of very agile jumps, notably when hunting, but sometimes in response to sudden threats or crossing long gaps. They are known to use intricate and elaborate mating rituals, which often involve complex visual displays, vibrations and pheromone signaling. These spiders are considered to be among the more intelligent arachnids, displaying problem-solving abilities and learning behavior. Red weaver ant mimicking jumpers mimic weaver ants in size, shape and color. Its body appears like an ant, which has three body segments and six legs, by having constrictions on the cephalothorax and abdomen. This creates the illusion of having a distinct head, thorax and gaster of the weaver ant, complete with a long and slender waist. The spiders live in trees and bushes where the weaver ants live in colonies. By mimicking the ants, they are able to stay close to them, thus gaining protection from predators since weaver ants taste bad and have a painful bite. Mimicry is also achieved by stealing from the ant brood and absorbing the smell of the colony. This strategy appears to be successful. Though these spiders mimic the weaver ants very well, they are known to stay away from them. They weave a thin web on leaves, hide under their webbing and ambush their prey. The bodies of familiar jumping spiders are rather compressed in the vertical direction, which allows them to hide themselves under the loosened bark of trees and in other tight places. They have a prominent chevron-like pattern on their abdomens which may make them more difficult to distinguish on mottled surfaces. These spiders are not inclined to bite, but even though they are rather small they can deliver a defensive bite if they are pinched or squeezed. 
Eggs are laid and hatched during the summer, and adults and other stages overwinter in their individual silken shelters. Male peacock spiders are known for their striking and iridescent coloration, which they display during courtship rituals. They have colorful abdominal flaps that they extend and vibrate as part of their elaborate mating dance. It is native to certain regions in Australia, where it can be found in scrubland, grasslands and other natural habitats. It is known to inhabit coastal areas and dunes in its native range. Males perform intricate and elaborate courtship dances to attract females. These dances often involve rhythmic leg and abdomen movements, as well as the display of their brightly colored abdominal flaps. An important part of the male peacock spider's courtship is the vibrations that accompany the fan dance. The exact mechanism of how these vibrations are produced is not known, but it is known that they are produced almost solely from rapid movements in their abdomen. While peacock spiders are carnivorous and primarily feed on small insects, they are not harmful to humans. They use their venom to subdue their prey but pose no significant threat to humans.